My next guest is coming off a successful professional MMA debut and returns to the CES cage on January 8th, where he takes on Mike Rodriguez at CES 32. Pat McCronin is back on the program. How's it going, Pat? I'm doing good. How about you? Hey, fantastic, man. Uh, thanks for joining me here again. And uh, first off, congrats on the win. That was, uh, you know, qu quite the finish. Uh, for those who didn't see it, CES 31, uh, Pat, uh, you know, defeated Buck Pineau. But it was kind of a, a weird finish. Uh, you, you basically slammed him down. And, uh, you know, Buck obviously hurt himself. He broke his arm. Um, when you had slammed him at the time, did you think his arm, did you know his arm was broken? Or was it one of those things where you saw it after? Uh, I mean, I, I definitely knew something happened only because he was screaming. You know, I slammed him hard, but I didn't I didn't expect anything like that. You know, it was uh, it's not like I did anything real special. You know, I no. shot in on a single and then switched to a double, took him down. And then and all of a sudden you know, started screaming and shit. So I don't know what was going on. Honestly, I thought I might have done something like illegal. I jumped. I was like, oh, right. no, I won. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, wait a minute. You know, so I didn't even know at first. I was like, what the hell? I just heard him screaming. So, uh, yeah, but, you know, it was, uh, it was a good way to finish, even though I didn't really do anything that that impressive. It was a. Uh, it was nice to have an end like that. Is it kind of a bummer at all that, that it did end that way? Because, you know, I'm sure, I mean, obviously you're happy you got the win. No arguments there. You know, a W is a W. But is, is it kind of, you know, kind of well, disappointing? Like, yeah, I mean, I was saying as far as it ending like that, it was, uh, I don't think anybody would have, I don't think I would even have had a highlight on TV or anything like that, or anybody would ever even, you know, even seen the fight or anything. You know, the only reason anyone even knows about it was because of the broken arm. But, you right. know, obviously it would have been nice to go a few rounds, but there's other fights for that. You know, I think I uh, hope they all get in there and, uh, We'll get a, we'll get a couple of rounds in this one and and uh, you know try try to do something you know other than just getting a takedown because I'm I'm ready you know I've trained a bunch of months so I want to throw some punches in there so I think this time we're gonna uh, you know try to keep it on the feet a little bit to get a little excitement. Absolutely, and we'll talk about that in a second. But what was the response you got after the fight? Because I'll be honest, I I heard about the slam. I, I didn't actually catch the card live, but I heard about the slam and I checked it out and I was like, oh, it's Pat. I, I interviewed Pat before his <laughs> fight, and you know I saw the slam and it was pretty incredible. I mean, you must have gotten a huge response because everywhere I saw after the fight, they were posting the the replay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. There was definitely. A, hey, come here. I got my old dog with me. Yeah. No work. problem. <laughs> Doing double duty. Like I like to get it. Get over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I definitely got uh, a bunch of people, you know, like, you know, whatever. Friend. Actually, I made a Twitter, so, you know, I had to make a Twitter because of that. So it was, right. uh, you know, other than, you know, I just got, you know, obviously I, it was posted everywhere, you know, like people all, all talking about it and stuff. But like I said, it's not like I did anything that impressive. You know, he just, it, it was a dumb mistake on his part, you know. It was, uh, he just posted his arm out. So I don't really like, you know, people keep talking about it, and I'd rather not even really, even think, just put it in the past, because it's also, you know, I got, I got plenty more fights to go again. I got a lot more impressive things to show other than just, you know, him making a mistake posting his arm. So it's, uh, it was awesome to get, you know, have, have people see it and stuff. But, you know, I'd like to, uh, like you said, it'd be nice to get in there and, uh, you know, show what I can do. So totally understandable. Um, how'd you celebrate after the victory? Uh, I mean, I just hung out with Twin River for a while and then, uh, and I didn't celebrate too much cause, uh, you know, uh, I, I wanted to try to take another fight real quick and, uh, right. just cause, uh, just try to recoup some of this money I've been spending on medicals and stuff. So I, uh, you know, I just, I went right back into training camp and I knew I was going to have another one on, uh, on the, on the CES card. So cause they told me right at the fight. So it was, uh, there was no really celebrating, you know, we had to get right back to camp and, uh, and I know, you know, my opponent coming up is a good fighter. So, you know, I, uh, we had to get right back to work. Yeah, let's talk about Mike Rodriguez. He's two and zero. How do you see yourself matching up against him? Uh, I see it being, you know, somewhat similar to the last fight. Uh, I think he's, you know, he's he's got an impressive stand up game. I don't think his uh, I don't think his ground game is going to be comparable to mine. Uh, you know, so we'll, you know, I, I think I think standing up, I'll have it too. You know, he's, uh, I think he's, I think once I get him into later into the first round, the second round, he's going to, uh, you know, he won't be as fast, and I think I'll be able to take it to him. Yeah, and I think there'll be one big difference. Obviously, when you, I'm sure when you pick him up, he's not going to use his arm to try and break his fall either, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I hope not. Hopefully, he'll be sees that and doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so you train at uh, Gillette's MMA. Um, who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? Uh, same, same crew. Same crew as always. Mark Pavo, uh, T Tyler Pimentel, Tim Gillette, Derek Peterson. Uh, you know, all my same training partners. Uh, you know, same as the last ones. And then you know, I, I, I travel around and get some sparring in. You know, but uh, you know, all the same, nothing changed. You know, I don't want to mess. So that's so it's yeah, pretty much all the same stuff I've been doing, you know. And as far as the holiday season goes, obviously this is in January. Kind of, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm sure you love to, love to be fighting, but I, I'm sure you can't really indulge too much uh, during the holidays because you got this fight coming up. Got to probably watch your diet. Got to kind of, you know, be in the fight mode, so to speak. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, which is nice though, because you know, when, once once the winter hits, it's uh, you know, like you know, wrestling season is in. I can get down there, get some, get some wrestling in, and then you know, I'm, I'm not landscaping as much, so now I, I can just get a lot of training in. Even though it's the holidays, it's like winter is my time to kind of get to work. So if anything, uh, you know, I, I like the, the holiday. Absolutely. It's all training, so it's good. 
Yeah, I was going to say it's, uh, you know, kind of kind of got that rocky mentality, you know, especially where you're out at, uh, you know, it gets kind of cold. So I'm sure, you know, you're just, uh, if anything, it kind of keeps you more disciplined, uh, you know, not kind of slacking off on those workouts and things like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's nice to nice to get into the gym and, you know, get some work in, especially since, you know, when, when it's winter time, it's not like you can even really, you know, if it's snowing, it's not much to do anyway. It's just getting right. the training. So it's good. Yeah, I know we feel it out here too in Toronto. It gets pretty cold, uh, almost oh, yeah, as cold that. as I think where you guys are too. So, uh, you know, yeah. d- definitely uh, something, uh, definitely staying indoors uh, during the winter season. But uh, let's talk about the fight. Uh, January 8th, how do you see this one ending? Uh, I see it. I see it. Honestly, I see it end in the first round. I mean, if it, nice. if it gets to the second, it'll, it'll end in the second. But, uh, you know, I, I hope it does. You know, I hope it actually gets to the second because hopefully we'll get to see some, uh, some action here. But yeah, I see it end in the first round. Uh, you know, this, uh, the kid I'm fighting, the only thing I know about him, uh, you know, I seen him fight at, at Cage Titans and, uh, he, he just seemed like a punk. You know, he, uh, he disrespected. He knocked his opponent out in like a minute, and then it just like disrespect him in the cage, and then and then flipped off the crowd, and and you know it's just real disrespectful and stuff. So it'll be nice to get in there and slap him around a little, show him some respect, you know, and uh, and and then and then I'll pick him up and shake his hand. You know, I'm not going to disrespect him and stop flipping off the crowd and stuff, because you know it's someday that's going to be you laying on the canvas. You don't want to be. Uh, you know, disrespecting people like that, you know, everybody loses. So, absolutely. And my last question for you here: How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, it was good. It was good to have Thanksgiving with my family. You know, tons of turkey. It was uh, it was definitely good. What about you? How about yourself? Uh, well, I'm Canadian, so we had our Thanksgiving back in uh, back in, in October. So uh, oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it was great, though. You know, definitely I got to relax a little bit. Had my fair share of turkey. So I appreciate you asking because uh, no one asks. You know, so it's, it's <laughs> so uh, I definitely appreciate it, and uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to you fighting January 8th, CES 32. It's going to be a great fight. Everyone's got to check it out on Access TV. Pat, always appreciate you uh, joining me here on the program. Yeah, thanks just, for having uh, me. Just, just remind my audience where they can get a hold of you on social media and uh, give any shout outs you need to. The floor is yours. Uh, social media would just be, you know, Facebook, Pat McCrowan, Twitter, Pat McCrowan. And uh, I mean, shout outs to obviously Gillette's MMA, my, my training partners, Derek Peterson, Tyler Pimentel, and, uh, and, and my, I, got, I got a sponsor now. So I got nice. uh, Vapor Lounge, Rhode Island. So uh, they're uh, downtown Providence. Uh, you know, they got all the, the vapor stuff, all that, you know, the, the e, e juice and all that. So go check them out. And, uh, and that, that's it for now for sponsors. But if anybody, uh, I got a few things lined up, but if anybody wants to get a hold of me, shoot me a message and, uh, and we'll figure something out.